a red positive lead go to that screw. I first want to remove these and isolate them. Okay, it doesn't matter which one first. Get my isolation tape nearby, close by. That's one. This plug is shorter than that one, so there is no mistake possible. So I discovered that I can simply unplug it like that. And then I will now I will start. It looks like used to keep all things together when they assemble that part on that part. So I can release that plug. sensors yeah. simple they can be pulled loose because they are glued on it and it will not be critical where you put them back Is not and there is something over there fine good so here are wires to desolder yes they are spot welded our next step we will need to Pull this off in such a way that uh, I have minimum damage to the to, to this to this metal plate, so that I can reuse it again, which is handy. It's not essential, but it is uh, probably the, the easiest way. Okay, this is where we are now. Uh, I have uh, removed with a soldering iron these wires so everything is more clear now I have uh, noted um, the colors of the wires and uh, you must see it like that this is pack number one 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 at the same time there is this steel or nickel <laughs> uh, plate coming from battery number two connectors but there are connectors over here also all have the value 3.8. That means that uh, the BMS, which, which is over there, the electronics over there, is working correctly. Well, I think I have already found the ideal way to break the welds. Oops, uh, that's not very nice.
appeared to be ideal. Uh, five single, five, five times two packs. Here you can see one, two, three, four batteries going that direction and one, two, three, four batteries going this direction. There's my marking, one and negative. If they all li are like this, then there is no problem at all. But if I have one faulty battery, which is improbable, I will have to order a separate battery or a few. The small problem was that if I put a battery block like that, that the batteries are not all at the same depth. So um, to uh, uh, avoid that, I attached this rubber piece. So that's these rubber pieces over there, temporarily over here, which uh, corrects the depth of the batteries and then put it on a soft, uh, a piece of plastic and that resulted in, in, a, in a smooth surface for all batteries. Oop, this is the way it should be mounted, so upside down and then take a cotton swap, place this on the surfaces.
Good. That was number one. I'm ready soldering all connections, covering it with the appropriate isolator. Um, they are still in the right order, which is of minor importance, except for the last and the first one. And right now I want to place them back in, in their container. I guess be able to slip in. Let me check if this slides still slides in. This should be fixed like that. It likes to be there before the batteries. Okay. Feels good. Also a tight fit needs. Let me take this one off. Doesn't look essential to me that I know. I don't like these points sticking out and directing directly to my battery. Touches over there and that's all too close. So what I'm going to do is I will use one of these, cut it in two and stick it in front of Well, this is how my assembled battery looks like. Uh, what I want to do is uh, put some soldering resin, soldering paste in between these contacts. All soldering is ready, all connections are made. Uh, I have slipped crimp tube over the connections here, everywhere. And right now it's a question of crimping those connections. I put, I put some additional tape here and there fix the cables. So it's about time to make our final connection. 
one of those uh, switch over there. Small switch. Tension is rising. Good. Let me connect my charger. There you go. And that gives the reaction I hoped for. It's charging. It's one day later and uh, overnight uh, the battery pack has charged. I have checked also that this cap should be mounted like that with the red part over there. I have put glue over there after having checked that all packs are exactly in the middle. Now carefully push all these connections inside. This is my BH bike. Let me see. Hundred percent full. Uh, there, there is a way to set the battery capacity, and uh, but I will need to take a look at the, in the manual. I've seen in the manual that I have to push plus and minus three seconds to come in the setting menu. And then with the power button, I can go through the options. This is the wheel size, the unit, which should be kilometers per hour. And the snow function is off, which limits. And here's my battery power. It's indicated on 8.7, but I now adjust it to 13.6, if possible. It doesn't have a real function. It only, um, by setting this, um, it only allows the display to predict how many kilometers you still can go with your battery, with your charged battery. Everything seemed okay, but after one week uh, the battery had lost 4 volts. And uh, after opening the battery I measured the voltages of each pair of cells. 4.1 practically at all cells except this, these four. F those four showed only a few hundred millivolts so they are practically empty I uh, probably have some kind of short circuit in one of these cells maybe because of the soldering uh, gone wrong uh, so I have to remove this with a box cutter I cut the glue over there and on the other side 
and this is the number of millivolts left in these four cells. So I will have to remove these, check them one by one and throw them away. <laughs> uh, try to, to find a reason, order four new ones, mount them again and then it will be solved. It is not wise to to have all batteries full, all, all battery packs full, except this set. So what I did was uh, connected with my hobby charger that is able to to put the minus over there, the plus over there, and then charge with 4.2 volts. If you do not have a hobby charger, then you may simply uh, buy or have a, a, a lithium battery charger, so maximum 4.2 volts, um, uh, that you connect with the, the minus over there, Okay, that was it. So the battery is ready for use. I will post this video only um, in a few weeks so that I'm sure that I have uh, used the battery a few weeks on the bike and charge it a few times so that I'm absolutely sure that this uh, was a good procedure. Okay, thank you for watching.